connect with another one review and finally we have 4.8 pixel extended uh, for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well and some of you guys uh, keep asking me about that build so here is the review and here is the data backup application i already did the review and video already uploaded please just if you miss then have a look this is a really cool video and data backup is really really important thing for those people who actually always keep changing custom rom so that's very important things so let me show you from the settings and this is the about section of course and android 12 let me show you guys and this is pixel extended animated uh, name here and android version 12 and pixel extended 4.8 and device maintenance really thanks to him for his updates and this is official build android security update july 5 uh, one month old and this is uh, here is the changes main changes actually uh, he did hear the kernel uh, arrange news from new sources he built that kernel which is a uh, 1.1 version i guess and this is really cool you guys will uh, get it now very soon and then we have the system and as it is pixel rom so you guys already know about that pixel rom which comes with g apps so you people don't need to worry about any g apps installation so no need to install any g apps so we have here the languages and input of course we have by default google keyboard uh, then personal dictionary pointer speed you guys can customize and live translation or translate whatever you say you guys can do that only download languages on a wi-fi if you need that thing just turn that on and if you want to use data then turn that off and if you want to add languages you guys can do and you guys can see the download buttons um, on the uh, right side you guys can download by clicking on that buttons and we have then gesture and system navigation as usual but as it is pixel rom we don't have extra customization just like we can't uh, uh, enlarge the wide and length so that's it haptic feedback and full screen gesture advanced gesture option is available and you guys can customize it long swipe action timeout and this is important things for those people who actually love to use that feature and this is useless for me actually and 100 mode and other things are working fine swipe to screenshot as it is pixel extended not pixel experience so that's why we uh, got some extra customization that's why we have those things and we have digital well-being and parental control and other things you people already know about that and let's talk about the security what we have here face unlock fingerprint is available and of course the app lock is also present because this is pixel extended not pixel experience so that's why we have some customization and then we have the wallpaper and styles and by default you guys will get some wallpapers built in which you like you guys can choose like mine and we have drop theme and themed icons and app grid everything is there and display settings we have as usual adaptive brightness and screen timeout and font size and other things like boosted colors and saturated adaptive whatever you need you guys can do that uh, customization full screen application if you want to run any application in full screen just select that application and then use and we have the ambient display option here if you want to use then you guys can do that and raise to wake and pick up hand wave pocket mode these are the modes ambient modes if you want to use then you can do that and sound and vibration section as usual we have uh, every possible customization here so that's it you people already know about that now let's talk about the snow house that means the uh, customization hub which we can say and colored notification icons is here app icons whatever you say and date and clock customization am pm style you need to change it and date style uh, just you, you guys can select lowercase and uppercase and date position can be selected and which will be left side or right side that's it then we have the battery icon and indicators whatever you say portrait circle and text and field dotted we have that and of course hidden and inside the icon and next to the icon we have that percentage and traffic indicators of course status bar if you just i didn't uh, get it uh, here working is yet uh, i don't know why and it will work 
just do a reboot no issues with that any small mobile tab icon 4g icon 4g icon and wi-fi icon everything is there and double tap to sleep and wake everything is working i checked and you guys can do the customization here qs column settings in portrait mode in portrait uh, how many rows and columns you want on your control center you guys can select uh, on QS columns in portrait and QS columns in uh, landscape whatever you need you guys can select and hide titles if you want to hide titles uh, from that uh, toggles any toggles then of course you guys can do that and brightness slider position and auto brightness icon everything is there and then we have the lock screen customization as usual you people already know about that if you want to make a small clock on your lock screen uh, if you don't like the android 12 um, lock screen clock then just enable that feature which is a small clock and it will make a smaller clock size on your lock screen then we have the navigation for gesture customization and monitor settings uh, if you want customizations and colored like according to your choice then monitor settings you guys can do that use custom color if you want to use then um, different colors and use linear lightness whatever you need you guys can change the use accurate shades and chroma factor and white uh, luminance whatever you need you guys can do but if you enable that feature then you guys will be able to select uh, any custom color according to your choice and then you guys can be able to uh, change white luminance and chroma factor whatever you need you guys can do if you then we have font style huge collection of fonts are here if you need any you guys can select according to your choice then we have the latest game space of uh, when playing games you guys customize uh, according to your choice then we have other things like web button connect and having notifications we can flag and protect uh, detection that's it and pocket detections and other things and there is no issue and power menu and call long press for torch and playback control answer call and answer call fingerprint success vibration and other things the regular customizations are available and this is really cool features and that's it and now let me show you the other things we have here now let's talk about some basic things which we have like smoothness and other things uh, this room is perfect for you to use in daily life now let's talk about that uh, so first of all let me show you the smoothness and this is this is really impressive really impressive and personally i uh, get impressed with that room you know this is really really buttery smooth in animation app opening and closing everything is just awesome i am using from a starter so that's really cool thing not a single lag and started i didn't get anything and now let's talk about the settings and which is from android 13 system this is uh, a cool features it will be a ua change that's it and we have the as it is pixel room so we have that here the pixel uh, launcher by default we will get and you guys can use the dynamic clock no problem with that then we have that widget section you guys can select we have a use collection of clock here which is cool and the smoothness is just awesome just awesome but very smooth and if you people like some of you people really like pixel custom roms and which comes with very less customization but it's really really smooth so this is a really smooth room now let me show you other things which is geekbench score geekbench score is a bit low and August they have 23 each is showing here that's not it for and this is the second time I checked and uh, single query is just awesome but multi query is a bit lower uh, which is not bad and this is great and it will be stable if you keep using the room for some days but we have a very impressive CPU throttling for gaming experience it will be really great here is the Geekbench score which is 91% you guys can see here and the minimum and maximum and here is the maximum and minimum performance minimum performance you guys can see which is 91% and this is really great for gaming experience you guys will get better gaming experience with that and now let me show you the yes snack that means the safety net uh, I already rooted my device so you guys can see if you root and uh, if you do not do root, no issues. You guys can easily use any banking application, any official application, no issues with that. 
if you root and if you do not root no issues so that's it and this is the only pixel extended rom which comes with that kind of feature when you just uh, uh, scroll down your control center you will get the full control tile and if you uh, open it in QS panel just in smaller in size and the icon size will be uh, small so this is a cool feature and other necessary customizations are available screen recorder is there and screencast and nearby share everything is available so this is really great and AOD can be enabled and disabled from here as so you guys can uh, switch your sim card or data card or whatever you say you guys can do that the data connection can be changed and by default we have that google camera go uh, if you like to use any gcam and i already made videos on gcam uh, so you guys can do that and if you miss that video of gcam of course just check out the description and you guys will get some better gcam experience uh, with the gcam few days back i uploaded that video so if you miss then have a look and already data uh, data recovery video already uploaded if you also miss that then of course check out the description so thank you for watching